Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode of your Jaws Podiatry. We have a very young patient, diabetic patient, who has presented to our office for this. One, two, three, four. Or shall I say one, three, four, five. Two's missing. It was amputated a couple, we'll say a couple years ago. And on the right, we have one, two, three, and five. Also as a result. The good news, the good news is that we have both legs and both feet. And each feet has four toes. That's good news. Let's get to work. So we, we soaked everything in uh, we soaked everything in uh, three wee. to really, you know, when you see these dystrophic nails and like, for example, this one here is completely, totally detached from the nail bed. And you guys will, will definitely see now. I like to really trim as much back as I can because it's just a nidus, a nest for infection and fungus and bacteria, right? Kind of like here. You see? Patient? How you have that, it was like a cave. You see? It's a cave. And we don't want that cave there, right? this we'll go ahead and cure it everything here everything we oui? everything okay good not hurting no And then, you know, I basically, I like to go like this, just to see if there's anything that's loose on this end and there's nothing. But we'll be able to Definitely grind everything out here. I've always said these are really tricky just because we don't know where the skin is, right? I have to go really, really slow. Pain? Good? We? Oui? Good. When you can't see what's underneath, I start very, very slow. 
especially in this area distally here. Very, very careful. And just kind of just work it. These are extremely I have to find that happy place when you Caesar's gonna put a nice little music in the background. Again, very carefully. You know, when I see this already, right, that there's been an amputation, a previous amputation, I like to be really conservative. I don't care what anyone says. You have a history history of amputation. Very careful. Delicate. And the patient has a Lister's corn here as well. See if I can get away with. We'll trim it with a 15 blade. Oh, look what we have here. Little, little abscess. It's like a little fluid. I'll show you now. So we're gonna go ahead. The patient has this Lister's corn here. Very carefully here, you see? Corn. Very, very carefully. We. Oui. Corn. be very very careful on these sides here and again the it's okay very careful here I'm looking to see 
where the the distal pulp is at. Like this. And again, the same thing is happening here as the other side. It's hollow, you see? This is all subungle debris. All of it. Sorry. Let me continue. This is again, you see how it just basically melts away. It's been years. We? Oui? Of all of this being done like this, like we can tell with all of this debris just very carefully. Same thing here, look. You see here? Everything's very, very loose. And it basically just continues to go down. Down. You see? It's moist. There is no malodor. It's just really, really moist. Really moist. This is like a real art. You're just trying to recreate right I'm trying to recreate the the anatomy so to speak right it's going to feel good i know the da daughter the, da the daughter's laughing at me. I'm not sure at me or with me. We. Oui. Oui. Oh, with, with. Okay. That's good. So, you know, we're, I like to be very, very careful. I know that right there, you have that distal again. I mean, these are like, these are like talons, like, like an eagle. <laughs> Dinosaurs. <laughs> I'm surprised that they weren't getting. Were they getting caught on this on the socks? No. It's impressive. Very carefully, very carefully, very carefully. You know, different doctors use different tools. You know, I've had people ask me, well, why don't you use this? Why don't you use that? You know, it's doctor's preference. It's 
whatever, you know, whatever works for the doctor. Also has to do with training. You know, when you do your rotations in certain places, you know, that's where you learn all the stuff, right? Oh, but he, you know. That's where you basically learn all this. Of course, there's room to learn other techniques, right? But as long as the job is 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 done to the to the highest standards, right? I know a lot of podiatrists that they don't like to trim toenails. You know, it was very interesting. I had a I had a I was reading one of the comments yesterday and there was a, a, a not not a not such nice person I think. And he basically said You went to medical school for this? And it really struck a chord because, you know, we, we as, as physicians, you know, we, we treat everything from, in, at least in the state of Florida, anything below the knee. So whether it's trimming toenails, whether it's an ingrown toenail, whether it's anything, it is our responsibility to save, in this case, you know, the, the saving limbs, saving lives. This is part of what we, what we do. I was kind of surprised, but then again, nothing really surprises me anymore. What people, how people act and, re and react and there's no filter out there, right? You know, there's a pressing need huge especially for the diabetic population with a history of amputation such as this patient if it, i mean the daughter's not going to do it she won't she, the daughter won't know where to start she you know the, the daughter will not know what to do that's that's what we that's our role here Yes, we do a lot of surgery. Yes, we do this. Yes, we do regenerate, you know, regen medicine, regenerative medicine. We do it all. But you see, there's another Look at this. Look at this. And, and this is without a curette. I have the curette here ready to go. But to the other side. Kind of leave it like that for now and then we'll just kind of grind it. So right there, we'll grab our curette just to kind of give everyone an idea. You, know, you grab this curette and Clean out. I don't like to be very aggressive on the sides. This is even a small one. Um, you can do, a, these are sharp curettes. You can actually create a problem. You know, I just like to use them just to kind of get some of this stuff out of here. This subungal debris. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this. And again, I don't really do a whole lot with these. Let's trim this. Let's trim this up a little bit here so it doesn't get caught. And then we'll... I think this is harder than surgery. I'm not kidding. These robust cases of 
nail reduction is 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 definitely hard in the surgery. No question. In my opinion. You okay? It's okay? We? Oui? Okay. Get the, uh, let's get this. Let's see how fast Caesar can edit this one. Okay, here we go. Okay. I do have other attachments, the sander, you know, I kind of like this one, I've always liked this one, but again, we want to be very, very careful just because her nails are very, very brittle. Very brittle. You don't want to go too, too. He's got a little bit of alcohol here. So here, we're going to go with a different approach. I'm going to really try to get into this crevice here. I know the skin is right underneath, right around here. So we're just going to be very, very careful there. This is all kind of like, like quicksand. So we got to be very mindful of that.
I'm just focusing, I'm not talking a lot today. Using this time to meditate. She almost fell asleep. Good? Yes. We? Oui? Mm -hmm. You give the blessing? Yes. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Yeah, yeah. So basically, you know, um, there's definitely, um, you know, a tremendous transformation. I can, I can only imagine how, Thank you. how it must feel. A little bit different though. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> As always, I feel better. Me too. <laughs> you do a good job for me too. I'm sorry? You do good for me. As always, www.jawspodiatry.com, Instagram, Dr. Toe Jam, Jaws Podiatry, Facebook, and last but not least, our YouTube channel, Jaws Healthcare. I want to take this opportunity to thank the patient for allowing us to film this procedure. I thank you, um, as well as the daughter. I thank you. Everyone, stay safe out there. Have a wonderful week. Mm -hmm.